Hello, CFA Nation. Gabe. Nick. I, you know, I was, I every time I'm like, is he going to say boring reviews? Is he going to say boring reviews? And he doesn't. <laughs> He's a professional. Listen, listen, especially today. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I'm so excited for this one. A Patreon request, especially for me, especially for me. Nick. I'm going to tell everybody what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to be reacting to one of the worst umpires of all time, Steve Buckner. That's right, Steve Buckner. We were just clowning him recently, too. And um, what video were we doing? Was it the – oh, yeah, 2005 Ashes. We and haven't even posted that one yet. I mean, as far as recording. I'm sure we'll post it by then. You got all the whole – the fans are asking for it. And he's just like with his smug face. I thought that was just G right there. That was awesome. <laughs> but then when he finally did give the wicket, bro, it's like, oh, he's a, he's 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 the best. best I hate him with a passion. I hate him with a passion. Him, <laughs> and you know what's funny in that same video? Then you got Billy Baldwin, about him, about him. I believe it is, and he's got the cricket. Nobody has answered that for me yet. Is it he's better has like a cut ligament? On his finger, I better find out he was a war hero or something, and, and, and it's an injury. Because honestly, if that's just this thing to be annoying, oh, I hate him even more. Oh, I hate him even more. Then I hate most umpires any which way. <laughs> I want to say someone has said at one point that you know he can't help it, and Gabe's right. I mean, this is hilarious. So Gabe, we we record some videos yesterday, um, our time. And he sends me a text like five minutes later. This guy never sleeps. Sends me a text like five minutes later. And he's like, hey, check out these. It would be awesome. And one is the one that we're going to do right now. And literally, let me see. What's the timestamp? I get this email. Um, okay, so about 12 hours later. I said it was a few hours later. 12, 12 hours later, I get this Patreon request from Nanad. What's up, Nanad? And he says, Nick, how are you doing? I found a really good video on bad umpiring for Gabe. I'm attaching the link here. hope to see the reaction soon. Cheers. And so this is officially a Patreon request. This is also a Gabe request. What is that, that serendipity there, the timing there where Gabe oh, wants yeah. to do it? And it doesn't happen too often. Gabe's usually like, all right, what are we doing? Sounds good. Let's do it. But he gave the request and then the Patreon request. So we got you, my man. Thank you so much for being a patron. If you want to be a patron, if you want to support these two goofballs right here, then you have to do information's below. We're going to check out Steve Buckner. I'm going to see what it's all about. I'm sure Gabe's going to be feeling vindicated. He's had a rough IPL, a rough couple of months. He needs this, guys. This is his therapy. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm telling you, bro. He's absolutely horrible, man. All right. So let's go ahead without any further ado. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to CFA, thanks so much for checking us out. That's right. We are Americans, and we know about cricket. Don't Ooh. forget to like and subscribe. Give us our props, please. And we're going to start this video in three, two. One. <laughs> it's even got some mood music for us. Hayden getting really excited. There. I think he thought he. Oh, that was just the third. intro. Sashin. Oh, that's close. Too much bounce. Too much bounce. <laughs> bounce. <laughs> Look at Sashin. He's like, wow, really? That is a dreadful decision. Dreadful decision. Bro, look, that's so high. Outside leg impact. Outside impact. Oh, wow. Horrible. Horrible. It's going to be too high. I say not out, but suddenly the finger came up. There he is, Buckner. No doubt in my mind that uh, that decision should be able to be reversed. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's a leg break. A big appeal there, and I'm afraid Buckner's giving it the finger. Hussein can't believe it. I Look it is. Whether he got a raw deal, I think he might have got a bit of bat on that. Well, he's definitely looked at his bat. Unhappy with the decision. The replay will show us. Well, he was right in front of his stumps, but I think that was wow. back first. Buckner gives it a little nod before the Did that one hit the up. bat? Of course, the yeah, bro, hit the bat. Replay, oh. That's going to show us that it almost <laughs> came Look off the middle of the bat. see it at first. Bro, I think Steve Buckner's the reason that we got LBW. 
Just Are you kidding me? <laughs> change of the expression on the face. Total nah. disbelief. <laughs> A big shot. <laughs> nah. Not interested, Steve Butner. Once you see that head in shook immediately, you know. It's when he stands there and looks that you start worrying as a batsman. <laughs> oh, yes, no. Uh, oh my gosh, and that could have been Monty. more plump. That one didn't spin it Oh up. my gosh. Was just straight. <laughs> oh, that's a very good delivery. Big shout. I might have just <laughs> been going left side. Shane Wong can't oh, believe it. Steve nah. Buckler has said, not out. But the man who matters is the umpire Same and Steve Buckner. In line. Thought the wow. ball was going down. Piston line, no doubt about it. Straightening up. He says Piston no doubt. Line. That might have been a little high. Oh. They've gone for the appeal. Steve Buckner is not convinced. Well, he is. Finally, he makes that decision. It was a very late call from him. Yeah, it was. Prince didn't uh, like it at all. Once again, undone by a wrong one. We were seeing it early on. Oh no, not even close. And maybe the wow. back just not even the close. turf and nothing else. Maybe there was an edge. Not even a little there was certainly bit. some confusion. Confusion in his mind as well. He took a lot of time to raise that finger. Oh man. Oh, he's Prince the like worst. <laughs> Pakistan have got a crucial breakthrough very early in the oh, day. Oh, not even close. Six down now, South Africa. One thirty. He's Pakistan caught it, right? What? Oh my God! What? What? Are you kidding me? Is there a rule I don't know about? Where it hits your body, no matter where you're at, you're out. Look at where that ball is at, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Wow. That's a bump ball, I would think. Was he giving it? Well, he, he yes, not he his head. I didn't see the, the finger. I didn't see the finger either. The Let's see it. And, uh, oh. Also, yeah, it didn't hit the bat, hit the ground. It took a funny hop because of the spin. That's a tough one right there. We know the tail hit the ground. You can see. I mean, a, a half of these so far have been not the most plumb in the world. Look at those gloves. Those look like baseball gloves a little bit. Oh wow! No, he missed it. Not even close. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that one you can understand because in real time, the trajectory, the angle you're at, yeah. He's unmoved. Uh, he's got that face, bro. That smug the focal point. Yeah. And in fact, I think Andrew that Simons looked back. Face, you know what I mean? As soon as it, which is normally a giveaway. Yes. Oh, that's that's oh. as plumb as it comes. Wow. Clear, clear outside edge, but uh, Steve Buckner. It's as plumb as they come, my friend. Said no. Like nah. Look at that. It's such a big nick. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh, was it an outside edge? Was it? Yes, it was. Oh, Rahul Dravid, uh, oh against the wall? Not happy whatsoever. Oh, there. It may have uh, brushed the pad. We'll just have a look whether the bat was anywhere in the way. Oh yes, wow. the bat is going Oh near. wow. It's, it's even behind his pad. Everything seemed wow. to be tucked behind it's that It's behind his pad. And it didn't even make so an appearance. The only noise given was the ball flicking the pad. It didn't even Maybe make an appearance. Through. It wasn't even part it's of the, it wasn't even on the gloves, stage. Not bad. That is that it's is another brutal. shocker. Hang on a minute, Slats. You might have been given out. Even Anne Hathaway was in the movie longer than enough than that when she got her <laughs> off. That wasn't even showing up. Want you to look at two people That's here. Adam Gilchrist and Steve Bucknor. Watch for Adam Gilchrist. He called that an there edge. The bat right, was Mr. like Gilchrist. no. Maybe he thought it hit, hit the pad. No, that doesn't matter, Mr. right? Buckner, what did you say? I don't know. Maybe he thought it hit the glove. Feet. I have no idea. Controversial decision. Have a look at this. This will give you a clear idea. The bales are out. The bales are gone, his foot is in the air, he asked the square leg empire. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that he's passed his sell-by date. Now this is how he should have gone upstairs, he's got the experience. His shelf period he's is over. Expired? That's it's time classic. to retire, he's expired, and the bro. ICC has to look milk. at it seriously. Oh, no. Cannot go on past reputation. Now both sides stand and applaud and let one man 
lead him off. Steve Buckner has had a long and distinguished career as an umpire. It's Bro, game. everybody celebrated that so. day. You better believe yeah, that. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I'm telling you, the cricket world threw a party the day he the day he retired. Yeah, Look at, they're all walking off with him. Like, we're just gonna make sure he doesn't come back. <laughs> exactly. They're escorting him off, bro. Bye. See ya. Pain respect. 128 test matches. Come on. Give the man some respect. 128 test matches and 100. He gotta, he gotta take the stump with him. <laughs> 178 blown calls. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Oh. Okay. So let, let me start off here because I know you're just licking your chops right now. I know you are. <laughs> let me start off by saying two things. First of all, you have 300 international matches. You're going to have some blunders. You're going to have some bad calls. You are. You are. I want to do more research on this guy because I want to give this man his respect. Give this man his respect. Second thing, because you hate him so much, he might be my favorite umpire. <laughs> I'm it's too bad this guy's retired because I'd be rooting for him every step in the way. But was it the day after he retired they brought the DRS in? Bro, they, <laughs> they should have done it when he was in his prime. He's the reason DRS is they shouldn't have called it DRS, right? They should have called it the <laughs> Buckner Review System, all right? BRS. Because my man is BRS. horrible. Oh. Horrible. Oh my god. Listen, let me ask you just one question. Cowboy Joe West has been umpiring for 20 years. Oh, he's has worse. It, he's has worse. it just been a, a few bad breaks, or is it that he's horrible? No, no. no. That's right. what I'm saying. I don't have the experience to say either way. Joe West is undoubtedly horrible. And I guarantee you these they're like distant cousins, all right? You know what I'm Stop. saying? I'm telling you, if you do a 23 and me, I guarantee you <laughs> him and, and – Joe West, great, 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 grand unc uncle is from Jamaica? Guarantee you, bro. They they they're so, they're related somewhere. They're practically related, right? All umpires are actually Biddy Bowden. I mean, Joe West, Angel Martinez. All of them are, bro. They all are related because they're horrible human beings. They're horrible people. Horrible people. I think. You know how they give you those psychological profiles and stuff like that when you're gonna go like to like the military, law enforcement, yeah. or whatever. I think that all those guys that get rejected, you know what I mean? Because they're like, they look. Oh, wait, this guy can't be a cop. Oh no, there's something disturbing here and psychological. That's when they pull him into another room, like, but we got the perfect job for you. And that's when they put him in umpire school, bro. Because they're evil, evil. My gosh, Nick. Let me just ask you one thing. Is it too much at this point? And I've seen this already. Maybe not back then, but now. Like, bro, you ruined my career. I'm suing you. Could you imagine if somebody actually sued an umpire? Like, yo, you blew a call that no. cost me. It's actually been in court lately. I forgot. The oh, umpire. a lot of things in court. Bro, the umpire that blew, what was the game? It was a big NFL game. The guy went to court and said, hey. That game cost me $460,000 because he had, you know, Vegas, big money on the game. And the guy is suing him for, I'm telling you. He's no so one forced you to put money on the game, pal. You got to do your job well, though, don't you? I'm just saying. Yes, but no, you can't sue someone you made the choice to. It is, is it called gambling for a reason? A gamble? Listen, I'm doing some research on Steve Buckner, man. Give this man some respect. Listen to this, okay? Listen to this. He officiated, he umpired five consecutive Cricket World Cup finals from 92 to 2007. This guy was a mathematics teacher in high school. We love that. This guy was awarded the Order of Jamaica Commander Class for outstanding services in the field of sports. This guy, this guy was part of the elite panel of ICC umpires from the time they started doing that until the time of his retirement where they had the best of the best had that honor. He had that honor every single year. This guy, what else? I mean, there's so many different things this guy has achieved. Um, I mean, he's known as elite. Look at this. Dave Richardson, the general manager of cricket at the ICC, has said Buckner's umpire accuracy was at 96% during 05 to 06 above the average of 94.8 for the elite panel. Put some respect on the name. You finished? 
You know how many World Series Angel Hernandez and, 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 and Joe West? I'm just being honest. You know how many Joe West have any accuracy get? titles? Please. Listen. listen. And the accuracy that, there? That's a sad state. If this is the best that the ICC has as far as umpires, then sign me up, cousin, because that's a sad statement. Are you kidding me? That's the best Don't. they got? Really? Don't sign up, Gabe. Don't really? Sign up, Gabe. <laughs> the, bro, the guy... <laughs> The guy that called the worst one had to be when he called that uh, 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 um, LBW when literally the guy was all the way in the other batters uh, in the other butt. Are you kidding me? He was over the pitch. He was it bounced the past the crease and it was gonna go what three feet more over that way. Are you kidding me? This is the best. Oh, okay. You know what? Like I said, you're gonna find some blunders in people's careers. Some. Okay. Now, I will say, according to this video, those are some bad calls. Now, I would say at least 40 to 50% of those were not easy, plum ones from the – stop it. From the point of view that you're at, they weren't easy. The Draven one, horrible. The one where it bounced three feet away, horrible. The one where – um, I had trouble – I had trouble the with – The one that went over the, over the bales by like a foot. The one horrible. that – you mean you mean the one that hit him on his chest, basically? It was literally at his navel, and, and he called that a wicket? Really? Just horrible. Oh, my God. Bro, he should be embarrassed. He it should be passed his sale bro. date. They said it's <laughs> – you know, he was very convinced about that one. It's when he waits there for a second. You're really nervous as a batsman. Bro, and you know what? <laughs> you know when you know you're bad? When even the broadcasters clown you. When the broadcasters clown you, you know it's a problem. And you hear broadcasters uh, 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 clown Joe West all the time. Like, oh, looks like he's got dinner reservations. He's tossing people already. Or, you know, he's calling out. It's a huge strike zone. My favorite line of all time was uh, uh, from the Milwaukee Brewers. What's his name? Um, Bobby uh, yeah, Bob Uecker. And Joe West had the biggest strike zone, I mean, ever. And he goes, what is this, Bush League? <laughs> he said, what is this, Bush League? He must have dinner reservations. <laughs> because literally he was in the other batter's box. And he's, Bob Uecker, Mr. What Baseball. What are you doing? And I mean, but honestly, and that was, if I'm not mistaken, was it Holding that was? It, it, looked, it sounded like Michael Holden, all right? So a fellow West Indian. Right, because he's from Jamaica, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Buckner, and he's like, uh, yeah, it looks like he's uh, past his expiration date. In other words, cousin, you're rotten. You know what I mean? Just like with the milk, past his expiration milk, they, you're sour, done. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, it's so bad, Nick. Oh. Nothing worse than sour milk, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm super curious. Is it just a reputation or is it a proven fact for you hardcore cricket fans? I am so curious. Is this guy, yeah, Nick, this guy is just that horrible. Or, you know, he just had some bad calls, but he's one of the best of the best. Let us know. I am so curious to figure out what you think about this. Guys, don't forget oh. to like and subscribe. We appreciate all that you and do. We appreciate the Patreon requests. Thank you for the early Thanksgiving gift. The, the gift that keeps on giving. I'm just going to watch this thing over and over again. When I'm having a down day and I think I'm having a rough day at school, I'm having a rough day at work, eh, at least my day isn't this bad, okay? I'm not going to be immortalized online for blowing. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? Bro, I'm serious. I mean, like, listen, and you know what? I'm petty. If I was one of those players, I would continuously be spamming. I'd, I'd be sending it all, all the bad calls. He oh, blew. I know you wouldn't. Right I know you Twitter. wouldn't. All day long, bro. He'd be getting like, if I was uh, Sashin, I would be sending him every single month to his Twitter, to his Facebook, bro. I'd even send messenger pigeons with little with little pictures of that call. Like, yeah, you blew that one. Oh, forever, bro. For I'd be at his funeral, and at the funeral, I'd be like, you remember this? <laughs> to put it on there. Horrible, horrible. Horrible. You are out of control, my friend. Right. You are out of control. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for checking us out. We appreciate you the way you appreciate us. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for all that you do. Don't forget to come back for some more videos in the future. And until next time. Uh... <laughs> Was that right? No, no, no. Too quickly. Give it to us, Nick. Ah! Fast forward. There we go.
There we go. <laughs> My finger was out of frame. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, later.